exercise for your upper body, one for your lower body. For your lower body, we're gonna do a squat therapy using the wall or a wall. So let's snuggle up close to the wall. What up, Coach Alex? Try to get your hips as close to the wall as you can. Keep your feet flat on the wall. Open up to a nice shoulder width stance. Make sure that lower back is flat on the floor. And then press your knees outward using your hands and forearms. A little bit more pressure on one side at a time. Keep that air flowing. Make sure you're breathing. If you can drop your, or lower your feet on the floor, it's just gonna intensify that stretch in your hip flexors and inner thigh adductors. So not only go outward, but then try to press your knees in. Stretch those hip flexors out. Mm -hmm. Thread the needles for our upper body. Four point stance, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, take one arm. Thread the needle, push it through underneath the other side while pushing your hips back toward your heels. See if you can drop your shoulder down. Again, continuing to breathe. And then let's come up and around with it. Open up the thoracic spine. Oh, yeah. Inhale on the way down. Take a deep breath while you're down here and then exhale on the way up and around. Let's do nine each side. <laughs> now it's official. All right, warm up, three exercises. All body weight, of course. First up, plank. Shoulder, knee tap. Key ingredient, keep that back nice and flat. Keep your hands pressed into the floor. As soon as you lift one limb off the ground, your body has to work extra hard to keep your hips and shoulders and core stable. So I'm gonna suggest not rushing through it and giving yourself the opportunity to build some core strength. Okay, so take your time with it. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Let your body get, um, get your core, whatever. Ch shut up and move on, Manetti. Next up, butterfly sit-ups. Feet together, knees out. No medicine ball. Big exhale on the way up. Rib cage up, and then one vertebrae at a time on the way down. And your last exercise is a simple vertical jump. So it's really taking like, I wanna say, Mid squat to full squat. Actually, that's a jump squat. Let's do here. Lift your hands up, okay? Keep the chest up. Nice squat. Think about absorbing your knees into the ground, not crashing down. If you want to use a wall, eyeball something that you could use as a gauge, it might be more helpful for you. Cool? 60 seconds of work, decreasing rest time each round. All right, work time, five exercises. Your body weight exercise, it's gonna be a bear crawl flow. We've called them something else in the past, but I can't think of it right now. But here's how it's going down. Bear crawl position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're gonna pull one leg through to the other side. Key ingredient, make sure your hips stay close to that shoulder. Make sure that hand gets pressed into the floor to activate all these muscles that support your shoulder. Okay, also, the further you are away from that hand, more pressure for your shoulder, that's not necessary. So try to snug it up, come back around, other side, back around, alternate. Okay, remember, you're counting your reps, then you're gonna triple that for your finisher. 
your dumbbell exercise. Hinge position, row, deadlift. Keep the gaze up, keep the rib cage up. Two exercises in one, make sure you pinch those shoulder blades back. Make sure you hinge from the hips. So if you want to do the opposite, you can hold a hollow rock position, come up at the same time, or hollow rock, press, leg lift, press, leg lift. Okay, either one of those work, simply count your reps for your finisher, triple it. Uh, next up. Medicine ball, alternating lateral slams, right? So feet are in a good solid position, up over the top, slamming that ball to your side while keeping your hips stable. Pick the ball up, up and around. Again, hips don't move, just your shoulder, upper body does. Now, if you don't have a ball and you don't want to slam it, if you don't have a ball and or you don't want to slam it, you can do a reverse wood chop. Okay, so you're taking reverse lunge here, dropping that ball to the side of the front knee, and then coming up. Your fifth exercise, or your fourth exercise, your kettlebell exercise is gonna be a American swing. If you have the shoulder mobility and the strength for it. Key ingredients of the kettlebell swing, make sure that kettlebell stays above your knee. Regular Russian swing here. American, you're actually pulling that kettlebell up and then punching it up. Make sure you, you have enough strength to keep that kettlebell upside down like this. Okay, keep the core nice and tight. Pull, press. You do not want to come out with straight arms. Use the upper shoulder. Walk out. And then your fifth exercise, your cardio. Could be anything we talked about. Burpees, jumping jacks, jump rope. Foot squat, jumps. <clears throat> and the reason why I say it's a little bit hypertrophy, today's pretty much back dominant. So you're gonna be doing a lot of back exercises, a lot of reps for your back, so it's gonna feel got a little pump back there. Make sense? 